Hey, I'm Chris, pro voiceover talent, here to teach you how you can make a living recording voiceovers from the comfort of your home. Today, I want to talk about why Fiverr is such a great website. I got started on Fiverr over 10 years ago when it was just barely starting out. I didn't know what it was. I saw it was a platform where people could go on and offer services for $5. That was literally the premise of it. You couldn't offer more than $5. That's it. It was $5 or nothing. And so that's where it got its name, Fiverr. It's a platform for people to offer whatever service you can think of. You could be an artist, you could be a graphic designer, voiceover talent, you could be a writer, editor, audio editor, video editor, anything that you can think of. People are on Fiverr, they're offering their services. And like I said at the beginning, it was just $5. It was literally, I'll do this for $5. Over time, the website has evolved and has allowed more flexibility for the people on there. So now we can offer different prices, we can offer extras, we can offer different services. And so it's become much more robust and much more, much better, a much better experience for the buyers and the sellers. So I didn't think much of it. I decided to sign up just to see where it goes, just to see what I can make out of it. I was super excited about the whole idea of someone paying me for my voice. I was brand new to this industry and I signed up. It took some time and I had to learn the ins and outs, just like with any other service or website but I made it work and it was literally the best thing ever. I was able to become a voiceover artist and do this as a living. Um, even though I've used other websites and there are other great websites on there, the reason I wanna talk about Fiverr in particular is because there's a lot of negativity surrounding it. There's a lot of people in the voiceover industry that talk down on it, that talk bad about it. And I wanna address that and give my opinions on it as well. I think that a main group of people that talk down on it are people who got into it gave it maybe a short period of time, a couple days, a couple weeks, and they didn't see any results. So it's automatically a ripoff. It's automatically broken or doesn't work. And I think that that's just not fair because you have to learn how to succeed on Fiverr. You can't just make an account and expect customers to come to you. It doesn't work like that. There's a lot of ins and outs and understanding of how the algorithm works for you to actually succeed. And that's something that I had to learn on my own over the years and with time. It's a lot of knowledge that you're not just gonna get just by signing up there. So if you're expecting to sign up and just be successful, it's not gonna happen like that. You need to have a mentor, somebody who's already done it to show you the way and to show you how to succeed. You need a teacher. The other group of people that don't like Fiverr are people that say that Fiverr is a race to the bottom, that it is competition for the lowest price and that it's driving the overall price of the market down. Now here's the thing, there's always going to be people to offer services for cheap, always. Whatever industry you look at, there's always people selling it for cheaper, always. But here's the thing, just because someone offers a service for cheaper doesn't mean they're actually good at it. And that's where the professionals, the people with talent, the people who know what they're doing can charge what they're worth because customers value that. There will always be customers who will be willing to pay what you're worth and pay full price and sometimes even more. I get people who leave me big tips on jobs that I did really well all the time. So even though there's always gonna be those clients who sell their services for less, I'm not worried about it because there's always gonna be clients who will pay more. Besides, the clients who wanna pay less, cheap, and lowball you, those are usually the clients who are a pain in the neck to deal with. You don't wanna deal with those clients anyway. Unless you're starting out and you wanna get some reviews under your belt, that's fine, that's different. But in the long run, the cheaper clients, you don't want to mess with those. The clients that you want are the clients that want to pay full price for you because they see the value in what you provide. They see the talent in what you do and they value and appreciate your work. To understand this industry, you got to know what you're doing. You got to have that knowledge. You got to know where to go and what to do. You also need to have that initiative inside of you to take action on that knowledge because all of this stuff isn't just going to happen on its own. So you can succeed in this field if you find the knowledge, if you understand what to do, and you have the initiative within you and that determination to make it happen. Going back to Fiverr, as I mentioned earlier, they're constantly improving it over the years, making it a better experience for buyers and sellers. They're improving the site and adding features that allow you to make more money. So if you wanna learn where to get that knowledge, check out the link in my description where I teach you the six secrets that you need to know about getting started in voiceover. Check it out below, I'll see you there.